In this problem we have a wall that's 27 meters high. It's parallel to a tall building which is 8 meters from the wall. And we have to find the length of the shortest ladder that will reach across the top of the wall from the ground to the building. Now I've repeated the diagram here and I've put a couple of variables on the diagram. H is the distance from the top of the ladder to the, to the ground and X is the distance from the foot of the ladder to the uh, base of the building. And we start off with the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, AB squared equals X squared plus H squared. Now because we've got two variables here we have to go to similar triangles to get a replacement for one of the variables. So the ratio of H to X is equal to the ratio of 27 to x minus 8. And if I cross multiply here I get a replacement for h in this expression uh, for ab squared. Now at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the derivative of ab squared. Uh, if I take the square root of this it just, it just makes taking the derivative a little bit uh, more complicated than it has to be. If I can minimize ab squared then of course I've got the minimum for ab itself. So, first thing we do, take the derivative with respect to x. This is very easy here, 2x. This involves the chain rule. Uh, the 2 comes down times this to the 1 times the derivative of what's inside, and that of course involves the quotient rule. So I've squared the bottom of this expression and uh, done the appropriate moves on the top. I put my uh, derivative of AB squared equal to 0. Uh, this numerator I get 27x minus 27x so all I get is the uh, uh, constant on top. And when I uh, when I simplify that I suppose I could uh, find a more elegant solution to this but basically because we've all got calculators now I just multiplied the, the top together and uh, this x minus 8 becomes x minus 8 cubed. And at this point I factored out 2x. Now either x is 0 which gives me a 0 derivative or else this expression right here is equal to 1 because that would give me a 0 for the bracket. So I'm going to solve this and all I have to do here is, well, I cross multiplied and then I took the cube root. If you expand this, it only gets more difficult. So when I took the cube root, this had a nice cube root of 18. And all I had to do was move the negative 8 to the other side. And I've got my value for x. And then I can go back to the original AB squared equals X squared plus H squared. Um, I used my substitution for H here, put in the, uh, the 26, got 39 for H, and then just put it into the, uh, the square root here. And uh, most of this can be done very easily on a calculator. Uh, just, just be careful, when you, when you come to something like this, make sure you approach it in the, the simplest way you can. Expanding this only leads to uh, solving a cubic, which is rather difficult.